Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas day 15. Yeah, well, yeah, as you might have noticed, I'm not wearing uh, makeup today, so don't come at me. <laughs> my face just needs a makeup uh, off makeup day or something, so hum. <laughs> but we're still opening my advent calendars. So, where is it? 15, here. Okay. The board fills up. It's already day 15. So we're definitely uh, halfway through already, of course. But, ooh, this is a cool one. <laughs> Really? Oh my god, so shiny! <clears throat> it's a cool villain today. It's Hades from Hercules. Look how shiny he is because there's lots of metal in there, like metal lines. And he's really detailed and it, his expression is also cool. He's not just like, oh, that's a photo of me or something. It's more like he's like leaning towards you, he's coming at you. <laughs> So Hercules is a very cool movie. Funny, great characters, great villain. Not one that I watched lots uh, when I was a child or like, I mean it was like, actually it was my time, like I was totally into um, Mulan for example or like movies like Hunchback of Notre Dame, so the end of the 90s and this actually would have fit in but for some reason, I don't know, I just watched it once or twice, I never had it on VHS. so. But like, uh, so, so I just want to say I don't have like a really like connection from childhood on with this movie. Like for example, I have with Mulan, but um, yeah, I, I enjoy to like completely love that movie. So let's keep it going with the next calendar. Day 15, there we go. Ah, okay, yeah, three, three, I don't know, little figurines in here. If I just show them to you, some of you might not really know what they belong to. Let's um, just show them to you. So we've got a mouse, a hedgehog and a duck. What are they belonging to? They're belonging to My Little Pony Generation 4. Yeah, the Generation 4 ponies, uh, the first sets that were released, like every pony came with a small uh, animal companion. So the funny thing is I found these at a flea market um, and I know exactly that it's the same vendor that I bought some of my Generation 4 ponies um, from like maybe like a year prior or something like for example in 2019 or so I was just interested oh here are some some um, generation 4 ponies I didn't have like any at this point so I got like all of them that were there like the total like the typical ones but I like left these there because I didn't know they were belonging to the ponies and like maybe a year after or so I found the same vendor at the flea market again and she still had those no ponies left but these and to be honest, not many people know that they belong to um, My Little Pony. So I quickly did the research to like what ponies did they belong to. The easiest one was this hedgehog belonged to the traveling Pinkie Pie. And I'm pretty sure like that I matched up these two because as I said, I got them from the same vendor. This one a year earlier and then this one and now they are reunited. I'm probably like 100% I'm sure they... Uh, match together, they are a match there, they were in the set. This one, I don't have the matching pony too. Uh, apparently this one came with Dewdrop Dazzle, which is a pony that's not the uh, cheapest from generation 4. And it's one that I would love to have because it's a beautiful color scheme. I can't just, can just show you like a photo of it that I found online.
Uh, you can see it's blue and has pink and yellow hair and nice eyeshadow. And there you see the duck. And this one uh, didn't come with a pony in general. It came with an advent calendar to begin with. So that's funny, isn't it? Like that this one is now in my advent calendar and originally it came in a generation 4 advent calendar. And they all are pretty like old to say from the generation 4 line because they all are like came around like the first year of generation 4. So from the um, yeah, kind of first releases you could say. So I probably also think that this advent calendar was probably in 2010 or 11 or something. Like yeah. Cool. So um, for today's video, like that comes now up, I have something a little bit special because it will be a long one and it is mainly um, like story time, but it is, I'm talking about My Little Pony Generation 1 magazines. So um, have fun with that. Hello everyone, Lau here. Let's talk about My Little Pony magazines. To be quite honest, I didn't know that there were My Little Pony magazines for the Generation 1 ponies out there in the 80s and 90s until some months ago or so. Um, I knew that there were Generation 4 My Little Pony magazines like for Friendship is Magic with comics and everything. Um, but I had never heard of the 80s and 90s My Little Pony magazines until I stumbled upon them on eBay. As it is like always, you know, you are like going through My Little Pony, My Client's Pony, all that stuff and some things are recommended to you because it's always the same thing that you're searching for. eBay knows that and um, an auction popped up with um, a magazine in. I don't even know which one it actually was that I saw first. Maybe this one. And I was intrigued. I always love uh, the uh, original Generation 1 pony art, like which was on the back card. And this looked pretty much the same. I immediately knew it's, it's not the retro art, it's, it's something old. And um, yes, <laughs> the seller also put up some um, photos um, from inside the magazine, so I knew it was not just, um, I don't know, a comic, but I mean, there are comic pages in there, obviously. But um, she also showed in some pictures that there would be something else in, like some legitimate pictures of ponies or are some advertisements here, advertisements. And I was like, oh, that's super interesting. Let's try um, to win this auction. And then I uh, saw that um, the seller had four auctions online, all ending around the same time, starting with one euro. I was the only one bidding on it. I won all of these four magazines. It was these four for one euro each. And I was so excited when I got them in the mail. I was like, oh my goodness, what will it be? Is it is it more or less just the comic or is there more of like like advertisement in there? And when I was like looking through them, oh I was so amazed because I mean of course, there are some like activity pages for people, like for, for small children to, to color, like coloring pages. But there's also like information about the newest ponies that were like released back then. And oh my goodness, it opened up so much because as you might have seen, my kleines pony, they're all in German. I am from Germany, so it totally makes sense to find German magazines. I was so happy about these four. I looked through them. I also put up some, some Instagram stories about them. People also seem to like them. And it was super interesting to me also to be able to see what the ponies, a, how they were like advertised back then and also like their German names because it's all in German. 
and when I see the school time ponies here then I uh, can see the names like Sporty and Melody and Klexi and Hopsalein instead of just always knowing the English names. I mean which is you know, I'm, I'm an English-speaking YouTube channel, but actually I'm a German speaker, so it's not my native language. Um, and I know it's super international and good that we are all communicating in the same way, but also it's kind of history. I'm from Germany. When I grew up, the ponies had the, had the German names. I didn't know them because I couldn't read back then. But so it was so interesting and I was so happy to just have them. Um, but then I just, I don't know if it was coincidence, but I found other auctions on eBay again for many many more My Little Pony magazines. It was not the same seller, it was another seller and um, it was um, I think 17 magazines altogether, each one in a separate auction and they were not as cheap as um, I mean from the starting uh, offer as this one they didn't they didn't start with one euro they started with different offers like some with two euro fifty two euro seventy three euro um, around that price range and I was like hmm, I really want to have them but I also don't want to pay like so much and it's also very tedious to, to bid on like 17 auctions that almost end at the same time like I don't know some minutes or sometimes just some seconds like apart from each other so I was like maybe I just bid on like one or two of them but that wouldn't be like <laughs> that wouldn't be really um, like satisfactory for me so I was like okay let's just write the seller like in private uh, message on one of those um, magazines would you be willing to sell me all of them together for one price then you wouldn't have to deal with uh, separate people sending out different boxes some of them won't be sold because to be honest I think not many people are like I don't know if, if many people want these magazines because like the first auctions I bid on nobody else bid on it, it was still like a, a weekend when they ended like Saturday evening or something where normally many people are bidding on ponies so was like maybe they are also not re really thought after or something. Um, it would be really cool if you would sell them to me maybe for like a little bit less than your initial offer price or so the, the, the starting price for the auctions and I was like I probably won't say yes but he did like the seller said yeah great <laughs> um, like 35 euro that's fine because I, I offered like maybe like what if all together 35 euro? He was like, yes, let's do that. So I was like, wow, because that's how I, I calculated. Like I said, maybe if it's like two euro per magazine, 17 of them, and then add one euro because it would be 34, like 35. So I paid around two euro per magazine, which is a little bit more. But then again, you can't like um, like like think that everyone will sell the magazines for one euro, like the first first four that I found. Like that was even amazing. I mean, the magazines are in a little bit. Some of them are in worse condition than those. I mean, you already noticed some of those are a little bit falling apart. But um, some of those that I purchased then are also like even more falling apart. You can see that here. And um, some of them I really had to like glue together or um, but still I was like so happy when I could look through them by the way these are the first uh, four are all from 91 so August until oh no not August it starts June no June July August September and the other ones that I have I can now put it here all in this big binder here and um, they are even older I think the first one starts at 87 so March this one March of 87 is the first one and then it goes up until also until kind of this so the, the last one I have in another binder I think from from the second um, lot that I got um, is from also from 1990 or 1991 but just I don't know let's let's have a look in some of those just to, to give you to give you some some information um, the 
older ones all have this um, square at the cover that shows part of the first uh, comic that's in there and um, uh, the plain background but from 1990 on or 1991 let's check 1990, 1990, no from 1990 on I, I think yeah they started also to just have the picture the whole uh, cover um, stuff like this or you know stuff like this um, Let's have a look in some of the older ones. Let's let's check for example this one. Oh, it's it's even older. This was is this, this the first one? 87 February 87. Schneezauber, so snow, snow wizardry. And you always have like starts with a comic. Some pages. The comics are just about some pages. It's it's really not that that they are like really really long comics because. Here already another one is starting. Then what's most often in there is this um, Wer wohnt in Ponyland, this Who's Living in Ponyland and then they, they show some of the um, ponies um, and some of the stories they tell a little bit about themselves, why they have their name for example, something like this. Here we've got um, Surprise, Firefly, um, this Heartthrob and Spike. Here's a super nice wintry picture. This is so cute to, to see really uh, what I did with the ponies back then uh, and put them in scenery. And you can see these are really the earlier ponies, although this is from 87 and uh, these were already out in 84 I think or 85 maybe in Germany. So they, they caught up with all the ponies that were already out. And when you get to the later issues, then um, they always show the newest ponies, so whatever the... Um, so, for example, the Rocket Beat ponies then in 80, 80, 89 or something like this. Um, I was like, like, oh my goodness, I have so many. I was already so happy and I didn't even like um, think about searching for more. I wasn't really, I was never really searching for them. You know, they always popped up on Insta like Instagram, on, on, on eBay. And now I was like, oh wow, but guess what? I have even more because something really amazing happened because the seller of the first four My Little Pony magazines, um, you know, on, on eBay, uh, she, like her, her um, eBay name is La Copine, um, she messaged me just because we already had a little bit of a conversation going because of the shipping costs of the first four magazines. She was like, oh, I don't know, can we put them together? Uh, yes, how, how about like 155? I don't know if this is enough. Okay, I sent you two euros, something like this. We had a very short conversation already going. And um, in this conversation, she just answered me, I don't know, a week later or something. Hello, would you be interested in even more My Little Pony magazines? I know that you bought the first four ones that I put online. I actually also wanted to put all the other ones that I have online. But it's, I can totally understand why she didn't do it. It's like very tedious to put all of this as an auction. Like, oh my goodness. So she just contacted me if I would be interested in all her other magazines. Altogether, 9, 20, 9, 27, 27 more magazines. She said these were the four first ones that she put in, so from 91. And she has from that on every single issue until the end because the My Little Pony magazine was discontinued in then December 1993, so 1994 no magazine was uh, released anymore. And she has every single issue and um, the quality also gets better because she got older and, and didn't like destroy the magazines all that much, but I have to say the ones that I purchased from her, the first four ones, were already in okay condition. If you, I don't know, compare it to, to, to those here, and then you know. So I was like, I mean, um, uh, uh, of course, which, and, uh, and when she told me that she has just these later ones in 1991, 1992, and three, 
I was like, I guess that's totally, that, that matches up because I already have the older ones, you know, I have the older ones starting from 87, um, 88, no, 87, I, I don't know, maybe I even have some from 87, yeah, I think 87, beginning of 87, then, then um, I have, I think, none from 88, but then I have um, 89 and some 90. That's from the, the, the other, the second lot that I got. And now she tells me like she has all the later ones. And I was like, okay, this is also the girl that sold them to me for one euro a piece. Uh, how, much, how much do you want? So it was 27 issues that she wanted to um, sell to me. And I was like, what about 30 euro altogether? And she was like, yeah, super happy. Totally okay. I mean, plus shipping, obviously. Um, and then I got, then I got 27 more and I have like this whole binder here and the other one. I mean, she sent this white one to me. This was hers where she kept them. And um, we had a little conversation that these were definitely like, she was obsessed with My Little Pony when she was young. She had a lot of ponies, but she also had all of those magazines and she was really heartbroken when they discontinued uh, the magazine. And I'm so happy to have now part of her like childhood. And the crazy thing, I mean, I, I don't even know how, what, what I can, what I can show you all, but the crazy thing is, I mean, let's put them a little bit out here. So the crazy thing is when she sent them to me in this white binder here, like 27 magazines, I was like, wow. But guess what she also put in there? It was like, I was doing like a happy dance when I, I couldn't believe that she also put in some of the extras that were in these magazines because the magazines did not only have like comics, some activity pages, like they always in the end uh, of the magazines so on the last pages they had this um, uh, where, where people, uh, children could send in their letters and their pictures or people searching for PayPal's, pay PayPal, for pen pal, PayPal's, for pen pals. Um, and um, you could always win something in every magazine that said mit Preis ausschreiben, which means like you can win something. It's something you, you have to do a riddle or you have to do like, I don't know, draw something or, and, and then you would, would, could win ponies. Most often some of the newer sets. Oh my goodness, look at those. Um, but as you always can see at the front here, it says like extra something like like a little gift was always in there and she included some of them like for example this pony holiday uh, suitcase which was um, the here you can see that which was the um, gift in this magazine here I think it was the time when the uh, uh, euro yeah, the Euro holiday pony, summer holiday pony was released and then they, they themed it for, yeah, you can put all your pony belongings in that, in that suitcase. That, for example, was an extra. She included that and I opened it up. There's even more, like, she included those memory cards, which were the, um, the gift in this one. So let's just have a look at those memory cards. Do you know this um, this game? We always have two of the same and then you have to put them on the table. You can't see them and then you have to like open them and you have to memorize which ones so you get the set always. So here we've got this is hopscotch for example. Um, they also included some of the characters also from the comics or also some, some other dragons. Here we've got Firefly. Here we've got... Sorry, I always have to look because I can't see in the viewfinder. Ah, it's Lickety Split and Baby Lickety Split. He's a dragon again. Firefly again. Ah, here are some of, I don't know, the animals from the comics. Here we've got a baby sea pony. 
Here we've got Sweet Tooth. Oh, Megan and Sundance. By the way, Megan was called um, Annabelle in Germany. Or German. Here we've got, I don't even know what this is. I don't know this pony. But here we've got Spike. Oh, some cute babies. Some of the newborns, I think. I don't know. Or one. Ah, you've got these two. I always I can't can't remember what they are called from the from the play sets. This is like, and it is complete. You can really play that game. I really want to play it one day. Um, she included more extras, so more of those cool small gifts in the magazine that were in this one. It says that they are like table cards. You can put their name. Let's just show the cover of the whole magazine. Now you have these ponies here. You could like bend them like this and then you can put it on a table with the name. And for example, for a birthday party and everyone knows where their name, uh, where, where they have to sit. Let's start showing them to you. Here we've got peachy. Is it even peachy? No, it's not even peachy. It's a uh, it's cotton candy. This is this is crazy. This is um, pina colada, one of my favorites. Oh, this is this is tap dancer. Okay, the color is not completely correct. Here we've got oh, it's baby alphabet. Sunbeam. Yeah, that's sunbeam. The pony bride. Who's that? Oh, that's that's raspberry jam. Is that the name? I think so. It's just amazing. I couldn't I couldn't stop smiling and I immediately wanted to want to answer her like oh my goodness you didn't have to do that. I'm, I'm so thankful. I mean I didn't even pay much, you know. And then she included all of those goodies, all that stuff that was so dear to her heart when she was a child. And now I have all of this. This, this is like this is like actually it's even better than um, that I got it for a good price is that I have now what was so important for her because she was such a nice contact thank you so much I don't think that you're you're watching but here again the, the um, suitcase where actually the handle is already ripped but got some sea ponies at the back this is all existing still sorry <laughs> um i think there was one other where is it ah it's actually here these are so cool uh, in german it's called hauskarte so i would say it's like um tracing paper or um, um carbon paper because the inside is this black and when you put like a, a white sheet of paper underneath and you draw the lines of the pony then the paper underneath because of this black um, carbon kind of back uh, situation of, of the card here um, it would like trace this image onto the other paper and then you could color it and you could you could do uh, everything you wanted this one is still like white here she even colored in the ponies from the card. We've got um, stripes. I think this is probably lemon drop. I don't even know what pony this is. Because it is probably its majesty, but no, stars. <laughs> um, oh, this baby tuppy. Here we've got steamer. Um, some of the animals. I don't even know, maybe this is Moon Dancer, Baby Moon Dancer. What's this? Maybe Lick Baby Lick Split, Spike, or any of the other dragons. Here we also got Megan or Annabelle. That's also super interesting, like uh, the end um, pages that I already told you are like for um, children sending in their, their pictures and their stories poems and all that stuff this is always written um, from the perspective as if Megan herself so the only and not the only but from the magazine perspective the only like human friend of the ponies I know in the pony um, TV um, 
uh, series there were also two other children I think Molly and I don't know the name of the guy anyways it's always written uh, in, in kind of as if Megan herself wrote this or in German like Annabelle so it's always thank you da, 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 eure Annabelle so dears uh, yours Annabelle um, so precious the back always shows what the next magazine would be about so what comic would be in there or uh, what extra we would have oh my goodness look at those those um, advertisements for the, um, for the baby rainbow ponies are here for the uh, where they called I don't even know what they were called really. Is it Heinz ponies? Uh, in German it says Glücksfee ponies. That's so interesting that I at least get to know the German like names for the sets and, and everything. And it's not always like comics, sometimes it's more like big pictures with just some text. So it's like 100% aimed. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry that you have to some of this uh, sun from the outside and um, it's definitely aimed uh, towards super young children but I mean I was still too young for those magazines I couldn't have read anything and I also I'm not sure if I had any of those maybe because I also had some typical children's magazines I uh, had the um, Umi <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows that um, Later on I had Wendy, but that's, that's, that's something else. Um, and I had some Smurfs magazines for sure, so I might have had one of those. If I did, it's completely vanished from my like real like um, memories. Look at this, this is so interesting here. It's also an advertisement for the summer holiday pony, but it is still in another pose. It is like the prototype uh, for um, for the holiday pony. Uh, and the prototype obviously was in the gingerbread pose and not in the crumpet pose as it is uh, today, actually. I have this pony here, so let's let's compare it. That's, that's super interesting. So this was the prototype and this is what the actual pony then looks like, so the pose is completely different. And that also makes it clear to me that um, they used like real, like official Hasbro images for the advertisements, like this, or this here for example, for the Kukuri ponies. It also, it says, here is directly the Hasbro logo. But, um, some of the other images, like for example here, when they set it in a nice scenery for, for whatever, they are, uh, there's the com no, not the comics, but their stories, or where you could win something. These are definitely made then by the um, publishers of the magazine, because the publishers were in German here, it was the IHAPA press, and um, because then you had the correct, like, Pose, obviously. But it didn't stop there. I mean, there was even more what she included. At first, I was like, "What's what's this all this this paperwork here?" It was in the very last pages of, of the binder. Looks look, looks kind of official. What is that? This is definitely directly from IHAPA, so from the press, from, from the publishers. This is directly from Hasbro something, and this is from Sony merchandising. Like, what, what are these? Let's start with this one. It is on this beautiful, um, can you see that? Official My Little Pony um, paper. And it is still like as it was obviously the, the early 90s or late 80s. I think it is written by... I mean it could also be already printed. But to me it looks like with, um, you know, with a typing machine still. Anyways, but uh, the name of the girl 
and here it is uh, signed by Annabelle, so by Megan. These are like real signatures. This is real, like this is written with a, with a, with a pencil. And it says, thank you for your, um, your letter and your like um, picture for your club pages. So the last pages that I showed you always in the magazines. Uh, she was really happy about it. Um, she would like to put all of those pictures on there, but sadly she, she can't do that because there are so many children sending in uh, images and, 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 and stories. But um, she hopes uh, you, that she is not, not sad about this. Um, please have a lot of fun with your ponies. Um, dears Annabelle, dears Megan. So this was an official letter that came back from when, um, you know, the setter of, of, of those um, pony magazines. Um, uh, La Copine on eBay, Karen, as I now know her name, um, when she when she was young, sent in pictures or or a story for the magazine. This was what came back. This is, was what she received um, the letter, and she kept this letter. Like amazing. What's the other thing? This one's from. It's you can see. A Hasbro Play School. Play School is like a division of Hasbro, so it belongs together or belonged together back then. It says, Dear Pony Fan, um, thank you for your three um, collectors, collector's points, so the horseshoe points. Thank you for your three collector's horseshoe points. As promised, I sent you your pony poster, which you can use for uh, hanging up in your uh, room. Have fun with playing with your ponies. Um, dears, uh, Annabelle again. So sincerely, nice greetings. Whatever, Annabelle, Annabelle, Megan. It was always signed by Megan. Like as a credit. I mean, there is no Megan, but to make the children believe that this is really a thing. So to make the children. Oh my goodness. To make the children believe that this is really a thing. That she's really existing. That the ponies are existing. This is so cute. So this is uh, something she received when she sent in uh, horseshoe points to get a gift. Um, now you're asking yourself, what are horseshoe points maybe for? You know it. Two different things, like A, on every back card of My Little Ponies, there were these collector's points, horseshoe points, that you could like then cut out of the um, back card, which nobody should do nowadays because they are highly thought after when ponies are mint on card. But anyways, normally children did that, <laughs> of course. And the more you had, you could send them in, in America, you could receive mail order ponies. Oh my goodness, let's, let's, I'm sorry, the sun is like coming for, from an angle where just this small um, part is like open and that's, that's why you see it here. Anyways, in America, when you uh, send in um, different uh, amounts of, of um, horseshoe points, you could really receive ponies. Uh, of course, you had to pay a little bit on top of that, but then you received those mail order ponies. Ponies that were not available like in stores, uh, but for a certain period of time, just available via um, mail order. Some of the most thought after ponies nowadays were mail order ponies, obviously because they were not um, released to the general public, but just as a mail order. In Europe, or most specifically in Germany, which I just know, no, that was not the thing. Mail order ponies were not shipped out. Still, we had those horseshoe points um, on the back cards. And I heard that you, you could just get a pony poster. Now, she also included that pony poster. Um, this is obviously the poster that she received when she sent in three of these horseshoe points. But I guess she hadn't cut up like horseshoe points from the, her back cards but she had um, used the horseshoe points from the back of the magazines because most of the magazines have a cutout here. There were also horseshoe points. I mean, they were um, counting a little bit different because obviously it was much cheaper to, to get the horseshoe points from, um, from the magazines. Magazines were, how much were they actually? Two, uh, 280 Deutsche Mark. DM back then before Euro, we had Deutsche Mark, uh, D Mark, DM, uh, or two uh, Swiss Franken, Schweizer Franken, or I don't know, 62 France, 
at 19 something something. I don't know what this is, maybe Swedish or I have like literally no idea. But uh, let's say 280 Deutsche Mark, that would mean, da, 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 I don't know, one, one euro something. So 150, two euro, whatever. And that would obviously easier have been to just collect the horseshoe points from, from, from magazines. Um, but for, for those from the magazines, you definitely, as you can see, got this poster and I was like, oh my goodness, what cool poster is it? Actually, it's not that cool. It also looks like she never had uh, hung it up because it's actually just more like a landscape. It's more like a mat that you could put on the ground and you could play on because um, here it says pony house, so it's like you could put some of your play sets on there. So, um, and here, I don't know, flower meadow, and, and then you could, it, it says, gives you some directions that you could play with the ponies on top of that, I think. Because it's not really a poster that you would hang up on the wall, I suppose. I mean, I wouldn't have done this. It's in pristine condition, it's like perfect, so I think she never really did anything with it. It's not the most exciting thing, to be honest. Um, I still want to tell you a little bit more about um, this, those hors horseshoe points, because I recently then found out, um, because at first I was like, really? Did the German children only could get this stupid poster? For their horseshoe points, nothing else. That's kind of really disappointing, isn't it? But then I found some other letters that were looking like those online, and they said that uh, at some point they there was no date on it, so I don't know what at what point it was. But they have changed it up because apparently a lot of children had collected a lot of horseshoe points and sent them in and sent them in and sent them in in a very short amount of time and always got the same present, which you know, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want something else, right? And so they changed it up to make, they made then a pamphlet um, where you could, like like there were different options, so you could choose what what gift you could get. Um, uh, they There were also not really potent, I mean there were some ponies on that, so it said you could choose between, like for example, um, for three horseshoe points this and this, or for six horseshoe points this and this, and it directly said, not the ones from the back of the magazines, just the ones from the pony back cards. And um, it says like for, I don't know for how many it was, but like you could get also this poster or a notepad with pony paper, or you could get um, a, a piccolo pony poster, so a petite pony poster, or you could even get a petite pony. So one of those. Um, one of those small ponies here and the more it got also some 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 accessories like those 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 um, roll like curl rollers uh, things that were actually included in the perm shop and um, pony fifi for I don't know 12 uh, horseshoe points you could get a pony I mean not a mail order one not a I don't know special one, it was actually the one that was included in the perm shop at that point like, where, where the letter is from um, or I don't know, a t-shirt or something else so at least I found out that at some point in Germany this was also a German letter um, children were able to get some other gifts for their horseshoe points but I think for the longest time they could just get that magazine that, not that, magazine, that poster but anyways, I'm really happy I have that. That's like pony history, isn't it? Like the last letter that she included actually is also something that's not that nice. It just she wanted to to um, to have some of the pony um, um, audio tapes. That was a really big thing in Germany, like this this children's cassette tapes uh, culture where there were stories on narrated like a book that would read out, but also with different uh, voice actors and stuff like that. So I would say like an audio drama nowadays that would like be released for every children's like like uh, series, um, movies. You, you would have that for the Disney movies. You would have that for, I don't know, Masters of the Universe. And you would also have that for My Little Pony. And for all, for, for, for everything, I don't know. Um, I think this is a specific German thing that even in other European countries, that was not a big thing. 
but she apparently she wanted to have some of the pony um, audio dramas on cassette, cassette tapes. Thank you for your order, but they had to tell her that Sony merchandising stopped sending them out. So this one apparently also doesn't have a date, but it must be at, at the end of, of the pony line, so everything kind of stopped. So, um, she, they, they, they recommended please uh, get to your like um, um, music supply stores and maybe purchase them there. So that's what this letter says, but it's from official Sony merchandising, which apparently was the uh, company that did the My Little Pony um, cassette tapes. Do you think the story now is over? <laughs> she included more, like how? I mean, I just purchased, I just paid her for, for the Pony magazine and she included all that extra stuff. And this Pony coloring book. This is a typical children's coloring book. Like, oh my goodness, it has one of the uh, second set um, princess ponies on it, Princess Moondust. And at first when I saw it, I was like, hmm, this is English speaking. This is My Little Pony and not Mein Kleines Pony. Interesting. Was that released in, in Germany as well with the, the English part? It's a magical day coloring book. Everything written because it's also like a story a little bit. Oh, you can see his text, one of my favorites. And it's, it's written in English. So when they, uh, when they are read by text, what? Storybooks come alive when they are read by text. When Sky Dancer wears some magic ballet shoes, she dances on air. <laughs> and then I was like, oh wait, it says 99 US dollars, so, and not dollars in cents, so, but in dollars, so. And I asked her, because she, we were still in conversation uh, on, well, still on eBay, that was the way we, we, we sent messages. And yeah, she got this when she was on holiday in America. <laughs> so I also have an American um, My Little Pony coloring book. So th this must have been from the time when already the Twice as Fancy Pony set, the second set was out because Buttons is heavily featured in here. And as I said, the, um, the new, the second um, Princess Ponies. But uh, yeah, we have also have the Chief here. So it's from, I guess it's from uh, the late, or maybe the early 90s, also the late 80s, something, something around that time. So it's also like the time when she had all those magazines, 1990 or something around that time. Some of the pages are colored in by her, but to be honest, not that many. This is the last one and then all the rest is completely, ah, not, not some, some she, she colored in some mer mermaids and the sea ponies. Um, but most of the stuff is still completely plain. This was, it definitely was like better than Christmas because actually nobody surprises me at Christmas when I opened this box. Because I was just uh, expecting more magazines and I couldn't be happier about all of those magazines. But then I received the gifts from the magazines as well. Uh, those official letters from uh, Ehapa, from Hasbro. Um, and from Sony merchandising about the cassette tapes. I received the pony poster <laughs> without sending in any um, horseshoe points. <laughs> and I received this pony coloring book. Like she could have sold this stuff for like definitely those things, people want that, people are interested in that. And she was so kind because like she, she knew that it would have a good home here at my place. And now I have talked to you, it's like, um, I don't know, story time. I just wanted to show you some of the magazines, how I got them, and now I actually want to know, would you be interested in um, videos that I do showing you each and every magazine? Flip through all the pages, not really read, because it's all in German, I could not really translate all of that, that would be a little bit like tedious for me, but maybe do each um, like magazine one video every week for example this will be probably shorter videos then just going through it ah oh, here you see this pony or nice da, 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 da. 
or should I do like group them together, do bigger videos with always, I don't know, 10 magazines or, or should I just briefly go through them and do My Little Pony magazines of 1990, My Little Pony magazines of 1991 and quickly go through them or do you have an idea how I could present that? Would that be something that you would be interested in? Um, I definitely know that there will be a follow-up video which I will directly film uh, right now for you that you will probably see in one of the next videos already and where I go into detail more about the history of this uh, of these magazines where are they from I mean from Germany but where they're released in other countries is that a German only thing Did the US have comics all, all that stuff um, that will be the next video but in the comments please tell me would you be interested in like seeing more of those magazines in detail because I have now like so many and as I said it shows like official pony pictures it also shows uh, I don't know I like hear those those official adver advertisements and we could go through some of the comics just briefly like I don't know oh look we've got some of the sunshine ponies and they're doing this and that or is that enough for you so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and also you're enjoying uh, vlogmas give it a thumbs up as I said tell me in the comments subscribe if you're interested in my little pony stuff and see you real soon may the force be with you bye